come with us across the bay to visit St. Pete, Florida. We took this ferry out of downtown Tampa right off the Riverwalk and it runs from September to May. So make sure if you're planning on this, you check the dates and check the times. We made friends with the lady in the green dress. She was so nice and we talked to her for the 30 minute ride that it took us to get over to the St. Pete Pier. Once we were on land, we were able to walk around the neighborhood and see some of the real estate in the area. At this current moment, there is 198 active listings in St. Pete, Florida, ranging from 99,000 to 7.9 million. Many celebrities have homes in this region, including John Travolta, John Gruden, and even Stephen King. Park Shore Plaza is probably the most luxurious condo building in downtown St. Pete with incredible amenities and tons of condo options to choose from. The library is probably one of our favorite lunch spots in downtown St. Pete. This restaurant is inspired by the collaboration of John Hopkins and George Peabody to create John Hopkins Children's Hospital and a library. They both got to use their wealth for public good and public education. And because of this, we now get to enjoy a fabulous restaurant with handcrafted cocktails and a spectacular menu, all while feeling a bit of history while being in this building. We ended up sharing the deviled eggs, the chicken pillard, and the ham and gruyere melt, which was out of this world. We even bring you the check in a library book, which was a great touch. And attached is a coffee and pastry bar. Our next stop was the Dolly Museum, which we didn't go all the way into, but we got to visit the gift shop and the cafe that is out front. Now this cafe was a huge surprise to us of how amazing and delicious everything was. We were just looking for a quick cup of coffee before we ventured somewhere else and ended up with a blackberry bread pudding, which was so good. Now this next stop we were extremely excited about. This was Mazzaro's Italian Market, which has everything you could imagine. From gourmet cheeses and wines imported specifically from Italy, meats, vegetables, produce, spices, it really had everything. The quality and quantity of just everything was incredible. We even got to do a little bit of wine tasting and we visited the market where you can actually order lunch and sit down and eat it, coming from all of these ingredients that you can shop for right after. We got the eggplant parmesan, some bacon wrapped asparagus, garbanzo bean salad, and a walnut salmon. This was how our cart looked after, so be prepared to spend about $200, but it is so worth it. If you ever plan on venturing into St. Pete, try to go on a first Friday of the month. Every first Friday, St. Pete does a huge festival where all of the restaurants and bars collaborate together to have specials and deals and basically just one huge block party. There are tons of vendors and food trucks and shops and restaurants and bars and places to go. The options are actually endless, so you might want to come back again to make sure that you are not missing anything. Goodnight John Boy is right on the strip and it is an authentic 70s, 80s, and 90s dance club. Everyone was dressed accordingly and it was just a super fun vibe. This was the vibe around five and six o'clock and this is how it looked later into the evening. So if you're gonna get there, you really gotta find parking early, get your dinner early, and then be ready to walk through some of the bars and the streets. 
Overall, St. Pete is a great place to settle down for pretty much any age group if you're looking for walkable restaurants, a great nightlife, and a beach town. If you could see yourself here, feel free to reach out and let's get you looking at properties.